Hey, hi folks, how are you? I hope all of you are doing good and hell and hearty, healthy, sound, enjoying life. Now, we are going to take up another problem on congruent triangles and you must be cursing me that if someone is doing congruent triangles, how can life be good? But that's how it is, right? And uh, I think questions are good and uh, it gives a lot of mental exercise. And we learn how to solve problems. So hence, I like geometry proving problems. I hope if you're also uh, keen on doing geometries, then you have to solve more and more problems, right? So what's the problem? Here the question says uh, AC is equal to BC. Okay, where is AC? Okay, this is AC. This is BC. And DCA, so DCA is equal to E C B E C B. I hope you are able to wait a minute. Let me change this. Yeah. So what I'm saying is this angle here is these angles. These are two equal angles. Clear? Okay. And also angle this A is equal to angle B, which is also given. Okay. So let me just remove those highlighted arrows now. We have to prove that triangle DBC. Where is DBC? Let's highlight D here. You can check DBC is uh, congruent to EAC. EAC. Okay. And hence, obviously, the moment they are congruent, lots of other things can be found out. We will see DC is equal to EC and BD is equal to AE and all that. But I am going to complicate this problem once again. And uh, what I'm thinking of doing is why don't we join BE again and why don't we join DA as well? Okay, now can we prove this? So, over and above whatever is given, can we prove that triangle ADB ADB is congruent to triangle? B E A B E A A D B A D B B E A. That's one. And hence, can you prove that A D is equal to A D is equal to B E? This is what is the extra thing you have to do. So let's do some mental exercise. Don't worry. First, we'll prove what is given, and then we'll try and go there. Okay, so. Let's go about the proof. What is to be proven? So, as we have been doing, let's write given. So, what's given? AC is equal to BC, no doubt about it. AC is equal to BC. This is given. And what else? Angle DCA. DCA, check DCA. Where is DCA? DCA. DCA, yeah, is equal to um, ECB. ECB, yes. Right. EC. And B. Very good. And DBC. Angle DBC. Where is DBC? Let's check. D, D is here. B is here. C is here. So this angle is equal to EAC. Yes. Is equal to angle EAC, folks. Right? Let me write it a little better way because clarity of mind is what we are seeking. So EAC. E, write properly. EAC. C correct. What do we need to prove? Prove that to prove to prove what do we need to prove? Triangle what D B C so D B C is congruent to triangle E A C E A C and for that what all do we need? One thing you wouldn't have seen D B C right so D B C one thing is anyways given AC is equal to BC. So that's given. Also, um, one angle is also equal if you check. See, first is this side is equal to this side. And this angle anyways is equal to this angle between the two triangles. I hope you are able to identify the two triangles which are talking about. If not, let me draw this for you. So this is the first triangle. This is the first triangle, and the second triangle is this, right? So, just to highlight, okay, and then I'll take it away just to highlight. So, 
this and this right these two triangles are to prove it to, uh, we have to prove that these two are equal uh, congruent let me take away all of this otherwise you will get utterly confused i hope yep yeah. so i am taking away all this yes right so now so yes so now the picture the two triangles are clear in your mind so let's go about it so in to prove in this triangle so let's say in triangle dbc triangle dbc and triangle eac what all is known what do we see so one is clearly angle eac uh, or uh, deep angle dbc itself d b c itself is equal to angle e a c so point number one one angle is established to be equal which one i'm talking about this one yep. this is equal to this right and a c is equal to or in this case the, uh, the side will be b c so right b c is equal to a c so i'm getting a so if you see this is the a then this is the s so we need one more a and we're done what is that a so either the top angles top angle meaning this d is equal to a e but that's what we have to prove actually see we have to is it no we don't need to prove that but anyways we don't know whether d is equal to e but we know one more thing what is that look at this let me write it here so if you see angle a c e a c e is equal to angle b c e or let me write e c d trace the points e c d e c d plus plus let me for the convenience sake let me write this angle as x okay and this angle also will be x because that's given so e c d plus x okay and angle b c d e c d is also angle e c d plus x check both are true isn't it ECD happens to be the common angle, and X you add to both, you'll get two, two, two of these angles. So, hence, from these two together, I can say here, I can say angle A. So, first I'll write BCD because I have taken that triangle in the left hand side. So, angle B, B, um, C, D, right? So, B, C, D is equal to, see this one, will be equal to angle A, C, E. And ta -da. so hence the three, so we get the third A, right? So A, so A S A criteria fulfilled, right? Then we can say that these two triangles are congruent. So hence, dear friends, triangle DBC is congruent to triangle EAC, right? And the moment you say that, the entire thing, whatever you is asked for, is actually true. So DC, where is DC? So DC and EC are the CPCT, right? So MCC, DC and EC. So you can write DC is equal to EC. So this is established. And BD is equal to AE. So where is BD? Check BD again. This is also CT, CPCT. So this BD and this EA will be equal. So hence you have to write BD is equal to AE. True. Both are true, and reason is congruent parts of sorry corresponding parts of congruent triangles. CPCD. Now the evil mind, what we'll do is we'll connect A D and B B E. Do you think these two triangles are also congruent? This one, A D B and B E A. Can we do that? Um. Yes, they are, and let's look at these two triangles very carefully. A D B and a e b right these two triangles clearly a b happens to be the common side right and this angle here this one the e a b is equal to d b a it's also given equal and third we just proved that b d is equal to a e isn't it we just proved that isn't it so hence hence let me now draw further. So you see triangle ADB. Mark the point. So ADB I'm taking first. ADB I'll again draw it properly. 
ए डी बी ट्राइंगल ए डी बी ए डी बी एंड ट्राइंगल बी ई ए इंटरेस्टिंग दीज टू राइट वॉट विल हैपन देर क्लियरली दिस ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग साइज सी कॉमन साइज सो ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए नो डाउट अबाउट इट वॉट एल्स वी ऑल्सो नो दैट एंगल ए बी डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ए सेल्स I am not saying anything. The question is saying, right? A B D. Um, where is it? Hmm. Or is it so? Yeah. A B D. Where was it given? A B. Yeah, that is C B D is A B D actually. So it's given here. See. A B D or A B D or C B D. same thing right so and eac eac is equal to eab yep so hence these two are also equal and what else we just proved that bd is equal to ae right from where from where from here right bd is equal to ae so this again if you see this is s a and s friends so by sas i can say i can say what can i say i can say by sas sas congruence criteria i can say uh, again abd triangle abd is congruent abd abd is equal to triangle or whatever we had mentioned we should be mentioning the same this thing so let's not change the change the order of the points so adb had written so let's write adb only and this is congruent to triangle bea b e a perfect right the moment adb is congruent to bea we don't need to do much here so again ad will be equal to be and that is cpct and hence the extended version of the question is also done and likewise if you want to really extend it further these are some food for thought for you so you can prove do is equal to oe oa is equal to ob all that right so and yeah so these all you can establish also if this is m this is let's say this point is m this point is n so you can check m cm will be equal to cn also right om will be equal to on so much so many symmetrical results you can establish and here is how questions are set they will ask you prove that om is equal to on correct and that will be extended version of what you just solved which appear to be very very simple so these are food for thought try to prove om is equal to on od is equal to oe ma is equal to nb cm is equal to cn lots of lots of things you can do in one problem itself you can do lots of proving things okay so i hope you understood what was the learning in this session learning is we must be very very clear with the four rules of congruences secondly we must be very you know be able to identify the right triangles where you can uh, find out equal parts right so identifying the right set of triangles also is an art it will happen not overnight it will take some time so solve keep solving all such problems and you will see eventually you will be able to find out exactly which two triangles to be found out and made congruent so that the given or the demand of the question can be met i hope you understood this so let's meet again next session new question okay till then bye bye take care